good morning everybody it is crafty jackie welcome back to my channel thanks for stopping by and i hope you're having a great day it is a wonderful day here in indiana because it finally stopped raining oh my gosh saturday it rained and rained and rained it rained all day we had storms coming through i don't know how many times um it was just crazy so thankfully it's much better today um i hope my lighting is good enough i don't know if it is or not but it feels like it is so let me see if it's any better with it if i turn the light on like this eh, might be better well anyway so I have a Dollar Tree haul. I went yesterday. Um, my daughter managed to score me one last coupon. They were all out of them, but she got me one. I didn't even end up going to the store that she works at. I went to a diff the store by my church because we were trying to um, kill a couple of birds with one stone. We have to go to the Aldi over there because ours is closed right now being remodeled. And so we just went to the Dollar Tree there as well. So, but I was lucky because I found a lot of the things that you guys have been hauling and I was hoping that I would be able to find. So I was real excited about that. So, I'm excited. So, the tree behind us fell down. Not the whole tree, just a big branch of it. And this guy, he's called the Stump Man out here uh, in this, in Portage. And he came and he removed that big branch. So I cut up, there's some small branches. I'm. It, it was a dead branch, so I'm going to go pick them up later and put them in my, by my fire pit. So, um, but me and Bandit went for a ride uh, because it was making me nervous because it was just right behind our trailer where it happened. And it was making me nervous watching them uh, cutting the trees and throwing branches down. So, yeah, the, the bigger logs they took with them, I guess. I don't know. So, I didn't get any. So, um, yeah. So, let me get started with my uh, haul. Um, it's not a whole lot new here. Uh, so, might as well just get started, right? All righty. One of the first things I want to show you is this. I bought a new one for Bandit. He has a blue one at home, but he really loves his toy, and I didn't have one out here. Now, we played with it for maybe five minutes today. I hadn't even got the tags off of it yet, and it split open. So, uh, I could take it back, but in all honesty, he'll want to play with it, so I'm just going to sew it up. Sew it up and suck it up. Okay, now... One other thing I got sitting here, I will show you because it's sitting right here. Um, I found some more, uh, just a whole tube of these champagne colored ornaments. And so um, I went ahead and I got these because um, I wanted that color for the uh, topiary balls I'm going to be making. Hopefully I can um, find some of the other things I wanted to use in it. So... All right, we will start with bag number one. So, of course, every... So, I saved $9 yesterday. Yes. Um, I found the stickers that everybody's been hauling, and I was extremely excited because I do make some Christmas cards. I like to make Christmas cards. And uh, I think these will be very cute on cards. They just, to me, scream Christmas cards. And I bought one of these. I should have probably bought two of them, but I only bought one. Um, I like the ornaments, too. I use them things. There's my receipt. Oh, I also bought Bandit these Smoky Chews again. They're smoked pork hide twists because I couldn't find the last ones I bought it. And he already is working on it. Because that's how I roll. Let's see. This is totally unrelated. 
Um, I bought these. Uh, we're supposed to be having a Halloween party out here. So I picked up six Halloween shot glasses. Um, I got sponges because I needed them. And I always use just the plain sponges. That's what I like. By the way, this, these here say pick your poison on the on the cups, on the shot glasses. They're nice and heavy duty too. They're hard. So I won't be using those for jello shots. Alrighty. Yeah, there's no re rhyme or reason how these guys pack this stuff. So I found this ornament that I somebody had called and I just thought it was so beautiful. I really like that one. I like all the Again, it's like that kind of sh almost champagne color. I like that coloring. Uh, I think it's scratching on something. Else. Um, okay. I hate doing it like this. I got kind of bad. Um, I found this. I only, they had other, whoop other ones, but I only got this one because it was just the only one I liked. Uh, peace right now is very important. And uh, so I got that. And I think I, I don't know what I'm going to do with that yet. I don't think I'm going to hang it on the tree. Although I it has the buffalo plaid and that is what I'm using in my I'm using the buffalo plaid and, and the buffalo check and plaid in my living room. I did last year, so. I got these. Oh, my goodness. We're festive with glitter. I got these to wear for fun. I think they're very cute. Oh, and they're coming off. Why aren't we doing We're on a roll today. They're just hot glued on. I'll just go them on again. We're on a roll. Um, this is one of the Pet Pals. Made in China, Montreal, Canada. First line of Montreal, Canada. But it is a Green Bear product. Anyway, it's a little 3D doggy dressed in Santa Claus. And it comes with a little pen. Um, which is like attached to it. Um, it has 50 sheets of paper in it, so I thought that was real cute. I hadn't seen anybody haul them. Uh, I did, did see somebody haul this thing. Now, when it runs out, it, it's a motion detected one. When it runs out, I won't care because, um, I like the snowman itself because it looks real old fashioned like from the fifties type. So, but he, if it's turned on, which ban it like that. Yeah. So that is every time you go by it, it'll do that. Oh, Bandit likes this. Hold on a minute, Bandit. Come here. You want to see it? Come here. No. Hold on. He's kind of a, he's kind of afraid of it. He's fascinated, but he's afraid of it. This is going to be Bandit's first Christmas because he was born in February. And I also, it still has a tag on it, but I also bought this, which I thought was very cute. Yes. I don't do well with hats, so I figured I could wear this when every, Ron was wearing his hat. Um, I also found these, and they had all of them, but I just took the one that said Joy. I thought it was very pretty. And I bought some of these. 
uh, my daughter had bought me some a few years back and I had them <laughs> for so many years before I ever got to use them that they got kind of faded looking but they're made differently than this but I like these because they are all you know glittery and I'm gonna have a lot of glitter laying around this year um, I did find the bandit I found the uh, pens that you use to write on uh, ornaments with and I got all three um, I've always used markers you know like markers before but um, I thought I would get these see what else I can do with them and the last thing in this bag is um, some of I found some of the um, red gems they're round and they all have they stick so that is what I found in the first that is what I had in the first bag He's watching you guys. I hope you know that. He's making a list. He's sent us helper. He's making a list and he's going to check it for us. So you better be good. Just hang on, little buddy. All right, bag number two. Um, I bought these. They're wired garland ties. But I did not buy them. For making wreaths, I, they are showing them like using them with the deco mesh. Um, I'm going to use these for my balls that I make. I have I usually buy the big uh, these disco balls or I don't know topiary balls. Um, I usually buy the long um, garlands, and then I have to cut them anyway. So I thought. This will save me a little bit of cutting, a little bit easy, be easier to work with. So there are 12 in here. And if I don't use it for that, I'll use it for something else. Um, this had two. I got, they just put these out, and I got two of them. Because last year, I ended up, I couldn't get all of them, so I had to get two snowmen. Uh, so this year, I got two more, so I'll now have six Santa hats because I have six chairs and the snowman I think I'll bring out here and put them on my chairs out of here or something um I got a can of Comet oh it's a big one too because I was just about out here um I got a jar of mushrooms because every time I go I try to pick up one these are tasty and I have something wrapped up, which I'm not sure what it is. Oh, I know what it is. Yes. Um, I bought this little globe. I don't usually buy them. But honestly, it's it's supposed to be an elf. But it looks like Charlie Brown to me. And I have a, a bunch of Charlie Brown... Um, Christmas stuff. You know, I have the Charlie Brown Christmas tree and all that. It says joy on it. And I just thought I'll put it with that stuff. Because I think he looks just exactly... I thought he was Charlie Brown at first and I saw the ears. So it's Charlie Brown. I'm going to say it's Charlie Brown dressed up like an elf. Yeah. So, yeah. I don't know how many years it'll last, but you know... Stuff gets hot and cold. I'm probably get all my stuff, but maybe not. Okay. Let me get some of this stuff out of the way. Okay. I really don't know how many bags I have. I spent uh, 70 some dollars. I want to say 73 and I came up to 63. I don't know. Something like that. Well, I can tell you because I just said I had the receipt right here. Okay, Mr. Snowman. 
I spent well it doesn't say what the total was but I spent um, with the discount $63.90 she said I saved nine dollars so that would have been $73.90 or $72.90 uh, nobody said I was smart um, I try to when I leave here uh, for the winter to have um, enough stuff like I have a try to have enough a couple rolls of toilet paper a box of Kleenex a roll of paper towels stuff like that so that either a if I come out in the winter I have stuff here or B if I um, when I come out in the spring I already have stuff here um, I hate to come out and then have nothing to work with because I don't usually you know make a grocery list till I get out here so um, I'm gonna be out here probably another two and a half weeks um, I bought the dish soap to have for out here and then a lot of these items I just leave here or if I take I take them home I put them in a box uh, and I store them at home and then I bring them back you know the next year so um, I did buy this I love this palm olive with the blueberry scent almond milk and blueberry scent it smells really good that's what I'm using right now and this one I've never seen before palm olive multi-surface for dishes and kitchen surfaces which it kills 99.9% .9 bacteria oddly enough um, I always wipe everything down with my you know my counters and everything when I'm doing dishes anyway maybe you're not supposed to but I do but anyway um, I don't know what it smells like and I'm not gonna open it so there there you go um, I didn't have any uh, large envelopes out here the the size and I needed one to mail something so I got them uh, what else did I get um, as I I don't know I think I told you before we bought just bought a Keurig and uh, I've heard these are good so I thought I got two boxes of each I got two boxes of the hot cocoa and there's that's a good it's a good price because it's only 25 cents a cup whereas most other ones are more um, I got two of the cocoa and there's one of them oh, goodness. and this is some um, I don't know why how to pack this like this but anyway oh I bought a Full Healthy Lashes, Soy Protein Enriched with Pantheol, uh, Wet n Wild um, Mascara, because I don't really have one out here other than the blue and the green. So I bought that. Um, I did buy two boxes of Christmas cards, which I really love. In the event, you know, that I don't get enough of them made, I can send some out. I saw, um, let me think of her name. Stephanie, why can't I think of her? Couponing girl, couponing girl. Uh, she hauled a whole bunch of Christmas cards. Oh, and she was talking about one with a snowman. It was a cute one. Um, she was going to go back and get it. But I saw these, and I just thought these were absolutely adorable. It says, it's the most wonderful time of the year. And it has that station wagon with the tree on it. It says, may beautiful moments and happy memories surround you with with joy this Christmas and I usually buy religious ones but I don't always make religious ones so I thought this would be fine it's still a nice sentiment and then I thought these were absolutely gorgeous the black and white photo with just the color of believe the word believe in color in blue it says may the light of his love guide you and bless you at this special time of year Merry Christmas I hate cards that say happy holidays. Um, that might have been why I didn't get the one that was a snowman. As much as I loved it, it said happy holidays. 
I don't know. I'm weird like that. And then I got two books. I almost bought one for my daughter, but I didn't like... Um, it wasn't the first one of the series, so I thought, nah, I'll forget it. Um, oh, and here's the green gems I bought. And they're more like a pearl sh or pear shape. So those will be used for Christmas. Christmas crafting that I cannot wait to do. And then I got two books. The first one is The Christmas Note by Donna Van Leer. Um, she's the one that wrote The Christmas Shoes and The Christmas Hope. I didn't know that. Huh. Because I think I have The Christmas Shoes at home. Um, I love Christmas books. I have a bunch of them at home. This year, I hope I can read some of them because I'll be done with my school for that semester. I'll be on my Christmas break. Oh, this is the same author. Duh. And this one is The Christmas Hope by Donna Venier. So I got them to read. Alrighty. Let's see here. Let's get another bag. This, I was so excited because they did not have them in the Portage store last month. There, the white Christmas tree. I was wanting one really, 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 really bad. So I did get that. Not sure how I'm going to decorate it, but I know I'm going to decorate it. Let's see. Here's the other hot cocoa. Um, I got two packs of the wipes. Um, I got a box of Scotty tissues, 160. You can't beat it. They're soft. They're nice. And as I use a box, if I open a box, I try to replace a box. I should have got two because uh, I opened up my last box yesterday. So, but anyway. Um... I got, we ate the chicken a la king the other day, and it was delicious. I used two cans, and so I bought two more. I should have bought all they had, but, and then I bought two of the chicken and dumplings. I was trying to find the canned chicken and stuff. So far, it wasn't at that store. Now, maybe I'll get lucky and I'll be at the home store. Um... I saw they had a bunch of these, and I thought for 90 cents I'd pick up another one because you can always use craft glue. And I was very excited. I could have bought them all, but I, I, I know they'll get icky after a while. But I found the um, Vicks cough drops, and I bought four boxes because I do use cough drops a lot. I cough a lot. From my allergies, I'll get... My nose will start itching and stuff, and then I start coughing. So I got four of those. And let me get some of this stuff out of the way here. Um, this is the first time I had seen, I've seen people haul these, but I had not seen them myself, the, uh, mini, um, like scrapbooking paper and there's 36 sheets and I think there's six by six. So I got the blue ones, which these are the patterns and, uh, they're not like cardstock, but there's certainly regular scrapbooking paper. So I got the blue. They had some other ones I didn't like the um, things. And then I got pink. So I thought those were nice and a very good, for a dollar, a very good deal. 
I've paid like a cup, maybe a dollar fifty, a couple dollars off of uh, either Holler or Dollar One. One of those I've got them from. But never have I got for a dollar. All right. Oh. All right. Here's another bag. Um, I got the Brillo Basics wet sweeper cloth. Um, normally I don't go through them that fast because I also scrub the floor on my hands and knees. But with Ron having those treatments, um, oh, it's a long it's a long story. But anyway, I have to mop the floor. A couple of times um, after each treatment so uh, after he goes to the bathroom in case we spill some bleach on the floor or something like that I have to mop it then when because he already got bleach on one of his new pair of socks so so yeah I got them I was trying not to give you too much information you know what I'm saying um, I needed some quart bags I've already used like two of them I opened them up but there's the quart bags and I also bought two of the coffee. It's a medium roast Colombian coffee. And again, that would be 25 cents a cup. I'm going to try one of these actually after this haul and see how they taste. Um, I got my favorite crackers, the little Dutch made. I love these things. For 90, first of all, for a buck, they're great. 90 cents, can't go wrong. Cannot beat it. They're better than pretty much any cracker you can find. I needed another basket for my refrigerator. I have got my refrigerator looking very nice. And that was the best I could come up with. I think this one will fit on the whole bottom shelf. And then I can put stuff in it. That way I can just pull things in and out. They're corralled together. Um, it really wasn't the kind I wanted, but... That was the best I could come up with. Okay. And I want to say... Nope. I thought it was the last bag, but it's not. So I don't want to say it. Let's see. Here's the other coffee. Um, I bought this for Bandit. Because he's now technically... Well, let's see. November 6th. He'll be technically an adult dog. Uh, little dogs are only puppies for nine months, and he's certainly, he's got all his adult teeth in and everything. So I got his puppy chow almost gone. Um, and so I thought I would try this uh, dog chow. It's made with real chicken. And uh, what I do is I give him a handful of the this dry food and then I give him uh, about a third of a package of these big packages of the soft stuff like stringy uh, the one I have now is like beef and cheese or bacon and cheese bacon and cheese I think uh, and then I mix it kind of mix them together I put some people food on top of it and by the end of the day he's eating it all up so Tonight we're having masticholi, so he will be having some people food that he loves. He loves his Italian food. And the other night we had the when we had the uh, chicken a la king uh, on rice. Oh my! Yeah, he mowed that down like he had the shakes. He was so excited to get it. I was almost out of pretzels, so I bought me another bag of pretzels. Oh, we're getting kind of. Getting kind of crowded here. It's funny when you buy stuff, you forget forget what you bought. Um, I bought a thing of baby powder so I could sue. Uh, no, <laughs> I don't know if you've ever seen the commercials for the attorneys who you can sue if you use baby powder. No, uh, not for baby powder, but for um. Something I'm going to make. And then I'll be making a video. So you'll see it. 
so I didn't have, I thought I had some, but I didn't have any. Um, I needed more hand wash. I only had one in my stock. And Ran, Ran, Ron is always complaining about, he likes weird stuff. So I bought these antibacterials. Sometimes he likes, he does like uh, Jergens. He likes Jergens. But I bought these for, for right now, for here. And when we leave, like I said, I will take uh, what I have not opened and stuff. I will pack a box with all that stuff and pack it away in my house. Um, and like I told you, I use, I have a plaid and buffalo check thing going. And I finally found one of these that I thought didn't look all delicious goofed up and so I bought that I don't think I'll put it on my tree I think I'm gonna have it on my shelf with other things but I'm not sure yet and then I bought myself some I'm still looking for the impress nails haven't seen them yet but I bought myself oh, hold on a minute my hair was pulling my in my glasses uh, I bought myself some of the um, nail dress, kiss nail dress st strips, and you can use them on your toes too. Um, I'm, I'm assuming that you can put them on the toes. There's enough for toes and nails, but I got them. And then they had these, um, sassy and chic ones and they had them where you could either you can either use them as um regular nails or you can use them as french tip um i will use them as regular nails because i really don't have any nails so i'm just coloring nubs Yes, I ruined my nails by wearing acrylics for several years, and they just never recuperated. So I'm excited, and I'm going to try one of these tonight, too, today, whenever. Either today or tomorrow. I got still got quite a bit of homework to do, so, yeah. We'll be getting busy with that. I already was working on it today, but I'm behind for the... Ron was off so much last week that I... Did not get much done. I don't know what I don't know what it's like for all the rest of you guys, but when my husband's home, it's hard to get anything done. Okay. I figure every time I go to the Dollar Tree, since they got the um um velvet hangers back, I am going to buy myself a couple. Uh, and then when I go home, I'll just be putting them at home. I have a bunch at home already, but I could use more. I love these hangers, and I think they work really well. I bought two. Um, they still had Final Touch softener sheets, so I bought two more. Because I think they smell beautiful. And uh, I think they're a great deal. So, I bought them, and what else do I got in here? Okay, I bought a can of cream of chicken soup, and what I do is I, actually I probably wouldn't have had to, but um, I add a can of cream of chicken soup to two cans of the, um, yeah, uh-huh. Chicken Isle King. And then it goes further. Now, I would have had enough for Ron's lunch the next day, except for he ended up eating all the rice. So I had to throw a little bit of mostly, you know, it was just a little bit, very little left. But And then I bought, like I said, I bought two chicken and dumplings and two of the chicken and whatever you call it. Wow, this is probably one of my longest videos. Well, guys, I'm going to let you go. 
and I hope you're having a great day. Please don't forget to uh, subscribe if you're not, like this video, and remember, have a great day. I love you long time, and you guys stay crafty until I can.